Hello viewers and listeners. This is Eteta TV. Welcome to English Orientation Course. My name is Madam Chiku Gaimo. To this English Orientation Course, dear learners, I mean dear viewers, you are supposed to get their four language skills, namely while listening to this lesson, you are supposed to be able to listen carefully. Also, you have to learn on how to pronounce different words. And while teaching, I will ask you to try to pronounce, try to write words and listen attentively. Today's lesson, dear viewers, is about the world of work as a major topic. In the particular category that is called the skills for work. Now, today you have to discuss a little bit about the skills for work. In this lesson, dear viewers, you are supposed to know to get the meaning of various concept as far as world of work is concerned. The first thing that you need to know is about his skill. Dear viewers, when we are talking of skill, we mean the ability of doing something, the ability to do something. It is somehow different from, I mean, from qualification, where a person requires to have education, uh, requirements, and the personal attributes. Skills, qualification, is also different from working skills. When we are talking of these working skills, dear viewers, we mean the competencies that one is needed to have in order to perform a particular task a job requires. For example, of working skill, you might have, let's take an example of qualification. For example, in qualification, dear viewers, you, we, we do expect somebody to have maybe a certificate or a diploma or have a degree. That is one among the qualification needed to perform a particular job. Now, how is it differ from the working skills? Maybe somebody who is having a certificate, maybe in a teaching or a diploma in education, so we can refer him or her as a teacher, the working skills that might be required could be maybe the teacher should have be attentive to details, that means remembering something. A teacher is supposed to have creativity. Also, she or has to be, to be able to manage time. So what I'm talking to you is about the working skills. It is different, dear learners, from the qualification. It's true that you are a nurse, that is your qualification. You have maybe a degree course, I mean a degree, I mean a degree in, I mean in clinical medicine, you are a doctor, you are a nurse, but the working skill that you have is to be communicative, that means you have to be patient, that are the working skills. But also, dear viewers, we are supposed to have the personal skills. What are these personal skills? An individual or a worker is supposed to have. Apart from being maybe able to manage time, we do expect you, maybe as a teacher, to be patient, I mean to be sociable, to be energetic, to be brave. All this enable a person to be able to work effectively. So, let us now try to pronounce different words as, part, as far as speaking skills is concerned. So, pronounce the following words. Say after me. Working skills. 
qualification, personal skills, energetic. Thank you very much. You may keep on trying to pronounce this word so that you can improve your speaking skill. Another skill that you need to be aware of is about the listening skills. That's why I have asked you to keep quiet and try to remember things or points that I could be discussing on. So you better take a piece of paper or with a pen so that you can be able to note things. Thereafter, at the end of this period, you could be practicing speaking and remembering maybe the definition of the terms that I have given to you. Having done this, dear viewers, now you have to do the following activity. Since you know how to differentiate the so-called I mean, skills for work, where we discussed about the qualification, we discussed about the working skills and the personal skills. Able to differentiate these skills, you have to use the knowledge now to do the following activity. Now, think of a job maybe your friend is doing or your parents are doing or any relative of you is doing. Therefore, brainstorm on the personal skills they supposed to have. For example, if you were talking of a carpenter, if your father is a carpenter, dear viewers, the personal skills that she, I mean that he supposed to have, including creative, he needs to be creative so that he can be able to design different furnitures. He also needs to be, I mean, patient, tolerant, energetic, keep, I mean, keep on doing things until he finishes. That is the personal skills. Apart, here we are not talking of qualification. We are talking of personal skills, how a person is supposed to behave while doing or performing a particular task. Now, I ask you to think of any relative, a father, a mother, or a friend, a neighbor, and whatever. Now, what are they doing? They are, I mean the job that they are doing. Now, try to think of their personal skills. Now, let me take an example of a nurse. Suppose your mother is a nurse. I mean, we expect her to be able to communicate well with the patients. May I? She could be working in hospitals, so she could be able to communicate well with the patients. Is she supposed to be kind and is sometimes tolerant in uh, many in different situations or when she encounters different sick people or patients. Another can think of a father, maybe he is a lawyer. What are the personal skills that person is supposed to have? Maybe as a lawyer, we do expect him to be able to listen to the client. Maybe the, the father is working in, I mean, in court. Now he must be able to listen to the client. Also be able to be attentive to details, remembering things or noting down different information. These are the personal qualities, I mean the personal skills of a lawyer. Another is a carpenter, maybe your brother is a carpenter. What are the personal skills he is supposed to have? As a carpenter, the one who is making furniture, example, the, a chair you sit on, we are talking of the doors, of the windows, all these are made by the carpenter. What are the personal skills a person is supposed to have? How we expect him to behave? Now we can talk about him. Maybe the first thing, he should be energetic, keep on doing the same thing until 
he finishes. Also, he needs to be creative. That means an ability to design new things in order to attract customers. Dear viewers, do you try to note down what I'm talking to you? So you better take note of what I'm saying so that you can be able to remember. So, and for that matter, you, you will find yourself improving the so-called listening skills. In some, I mean, in some circumstances, you will be needed to pronounce after me, even if you have to pronounce after me in case of difficult words. So practice, practice makes it perfect. Another, I mean, another work, maybe another job, it can be a shopkeeper. If your mother is a shopkeeper, if your sister is their shopkeeper, what are the personal skills that she must have? The first thing, she must be able to communicate with the customers. Good in communication skills, be able to talk to the customers, be charming, and sometimes she needs to be sociable to interact with the, the community. Another thing is to be tolerant and also attentive to details. She has to I mean, listen well, listen carefully to the customers so that she can be able to provide, to provide the appropriate services that will be needed. That is activity number one. You have to go and add some more jobs in different circumstances from your friends to your neighbors and try to identify the personal skills being required. That is activity number one. Dear viewers, let us now try to do activity number two. That is in order to understand this lesson that is called the skills for work. In activity number two, try to think of three, try to think of three jobs, any three jobs, and write their qualification, their skills, and their personal qualities. Think of any three jobs. Let's say a teacher. If it is a teacher now, try to think the qualification of a teacher, that is one. Maybe she could be having maybe a degree course or a diploma course in education. Also, you have to think of the personal skills, how the teacher is supposed to be have, to behave in different circumstances as I'm doing now. As a teacher, Apart from my qualification of having, of holding a degree course, maybe in education, I'm supposed to behave in different ways. For example, to be charming, to be sociable to students, to be attentive to learners, and the other things. And the same teacher, you have to think of the working skills. So apart from the qualification, holding a degree course, Apart from behaving in a good way, also the working skills that could enable a teacher to perform his or her work well is the working skills like maybe to, be, to have a knowledge in a computer that could enable the teacher to design to I many mini teaching materials. Also, maybe the teacher is supposed to be to, I mean, as being a teacher also, she's supposed to have maybe, I mean, speaking different language because in some circumstances, she may encounter the learners having difficulty in speaking the medium of instruction. Therefore, the teacher is supposed to have more than one language as part, I mean, as part of who his or her working skill. Now, think of another job, for example, a driver. A driver here, we are talking of a person who is driving, I mean, cars, buses, and whatever. 
is working on road. Now try to think of the qualification, maybe a driving license, a certificate in driving, that is qualification, but also the working skills. Now apart from having the qualification, that means you know how to drive. Now, how would you behave in order to perform the work well? For example, as a driver, you are supposed to be able to listen to the customers, be tolerant, be patient. You have to be brave and the others. All this enable you to perform your work in a good way. As a driver also, you are supposed to have, I mean, the so-called personal skills. Here we are talking of the behavior now. The behavior of the driver, you need to be energetic. That is all about the three aspects. So the assignment that I have given to you, you are going to deal with three things. The first one is to identify a job as I have done to the driver and the teacher. Another thing that you are supposed to do in performing this task, you are supposed to think of the working skill, how this person able to work well, and the last thing is about the personal skills. The personal skills is that the behavior of that person. The working skill is all things that enable him or her to perform a particular task in a correct manner. After that, dear learners, we are going to practice the speaking skill with the following condition. Here I'm going to construct a sentence and after that you could try, you could practice on how to correct, I mean to construct a sentence in a correct manner while applying the terminologies or the concept that you have, I mean you have acquired, you have learned, well, I'll be, I mean, the, 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 you are going to apply the concept or the knowledge you get from the skills for work. Now, say that, what job would you like to do when you are older? Now you are students, you are keep on studying. Now when you become an adult, what kind of job are you going to do? Think of that. You can say that. When I'm older, I would like to be a teacher. When I'm older, I would like to be an accountant. An accountant is a person who is dealing with money, control, managing money. They are working at the bank. So all these person are called the accountant. So when you are admiring to be an accountant, you can say that when I'm older, I would like to be an accountant. I would need numerical skills in order to perform this work well. As an accountant, you must be able, in, I mean good in mathematics, numerical skills, be able to count and write. That is all, I mean, working skills that is needed in, I mean, in accountant. Apart from that, also an accountant, you need to have, you need to have computer skills. Sometimes we need to keep this information. For example, in banking, we need to keep this information. We store them in a computer. So, I mean, as an accountant, you need to have computer knowledge. So, also, you while identifying the job, also. Talking of the qualification, also you need also to talk about the personal skills. Now, how are you going to behave as an accountant? Have you ever gone to the bank? How do these people, how do they behave? The first thing as you go there, you might find them very kind. They do, I mean, patient to, they do patient to customers. They always keep on listening. They are very kind. So when you are admiring or when you are expecting to be a accountant, dear learners, you need to have all those skills, I mean working skills. You need to have all personal skills, I mean the behavior, and you have to must have 
I mean, the qualification. You must go to school in order to learn how you can able to work with this with the I mean, at the bank. So the, the structure that you are supposed to do, keep on practicing this. When I'm older, I would like to be a farmer. When I'm older, I would like to be a farmer. Say after me, dear viewers, dear learners. Say, when I'm older, I would like to be a tailor making clothes. When by uh, you making clothes by using a sewing machine, machine as your mother or sister is doing. So when I'm older, I would like to be a tailor. When I'm older, I would like to be maybe a nurse. When I'm older, I would like to be a waiter working in hotels and whatever. When I'm older, I would like to be a chef. So all this. All these uh, many jobs, you are supposed to have a qualification. That means you have to go to school. That is qualification. Having a certificate. Also, you need to have the, many, the working skills. How are you going to be a tailor if you don't know how to design different clothes? So you must be creative working skills. And the last thing, as a tailor, dear viewers, you are supposed to be able to communicate well with your customers. You, know, you don't need to be harsh. Otherwise, you cannot get the customers. This is the end of the, my lesson today. I'm insisting you to keep on revising what you have learned and thereafter keep on following this lesson. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe to subscribe this channel at Teta TV. You were with me, Madam Chiku Gaimo. Thank you very much. Bye bye.